Welcome to February's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is trim a binary search tree. Given the root of a binary search tree and the lowest and highest boundaries as low and high, trim the tree so that all its elements lies within low and high. Trimming the tree should not change the relative structure of the elements that will remain in the tree, uh, and it can be proven that there is a unique answer. Return the root of the trimmed binary search tree. So it also says note that the root may change depending on the given bounds. So the very first thought might be to just traverse our tree, however, and if we find that the node is not within bounds, we could just get rid of it, make it a none. And that would work for something like this. But what about a tree that looks like this? If we just set this to none and returned, we would be losing the 2, 1 here. So think about how a binary search tree is structured. We know that everything on its right is greater than the node value and everything to its left is less than its value. So what we might do is check at the node value to see if it's within bounds. If it's lower than the lowest bound, then we want to get rid of this node, but return everything to its right. Now everything to its left, we know that we can get rid of those because Every, if, it's, if this number is less than the lowest bound, then we know everything to its left is also out of bounds. But we don't know about the right. So what we'll have to do is return the right's node value if it exists and uh, just do this recursively and it should take care of the algorithm. So what we'll do is traverse our binary search tree, check to see if it's within bounds. If it's less, then we will return everything to its right. Uh, if it's greater than the highest bound will return everything to its left and we'll return the 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 let's say the parent node and it's almost like you're considering this to be the new root so we'll just keep returning the root wherever that may be so what i'll do is write a helper function with that for search we just need to pass in the node value so a typical thing is if not node we just return none otherwise we want to uh, set the left and right, right? So we can say node.left is going to be equal to whatever gets returned by node.left and node.right is equal to everything that's whatever is going to be returned by node.right. Uh, now we want to check to see our conditions. So if the node.value, if it's less than low, what do we want to do? We want to return everything on its right, right? Otherwise, if it's greater than high, we want to return everything to the left. Otherwise, just return the node. And this should take care of the restructuring of the tree uh, while we're traversing it. So finally, we just need to return whatever gets returned here, at the root. Let's make sure this works. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, let's see. Return to stop root. <sighs> oh, right. I have to return the node. Silly me. Okay, so that looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit it. And there we go, accepted. <clears throat> so, time complexity, O of N, and um, I guess me space complexity is also O of N because we're doing recursion. Um, there are some other ways you can do this, but this was the solution that I came up with and I was very happy to see that it was exactly the same as the solution given to us. So, all right, thanks for watching my channel and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.